What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. I got an iPhone 5S today. <laughs> but besides that, as you can see from the screen, guys, new base build today. Um, I'm Now that I'm moving up in the trophy counts, I'm trying to redesign my base in a manner that I think will help with hog riders and things like that. And the things... Uh, whenever I attack with hogs, I know that uh, do the most damage to me besides Inferno Tower, since I don't have that, is giant bombs and um, wizards, just because hogs travel in packs. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know. Hogs travel in packs, so, um, so you need to be able to um, affect a lot of them at one time, and most people are going to be attacking with healing spells. Um, so you have to do a lot of damage to the hogs in order to um, <clears throat> get rid of what the um, in order to get rid of what the healing spells are doing. So uh, that's one of the the reasons that I designed this base. Like I did, as you'll see, as I start placing things in it, um, we'll see how it works. Like every base, you have to build it, test it, see how it works, and then transfer it um, and change it. I don't like copying other people's bases. Um, that's why you'll never see me use anybody else's base. All of these I just make in Clash of Clans Builder and I test them out. Uh, I don't know what I'm calling this base. Um, who knows? I don't know. I guess it looks kind of like a, a starfish or something. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, why don't we go ahead and jump into this? So, since I am trophy pushing, guys, uh, you know that my town hall is going to be centered. Um, and while I trophy push, I plan on using a lot of dark troops. Uh, probably not hogs because a lot of the bases I'm going to be attacking are going to have the inferno towers with multi targets on. So, uh, so I'm probably just going to be using golems and and things of that sort. But let's go ahead and put our um, our wizards in here. Now you're going to see that I'm kind of creating a wall with my wizards. And right now, if you look at my wizards, you see that they cover each other. Uh, so my defenses are protecting my other defenses, which is very, very important because your defenses are the most important part of your base because they are what protect it. So you need them to be protecting each other. Um, so what I'm doing right here is making a little wall of wizards, and as you can see, they are all protecting each other, uh, which is very, very important for... Um, just for defending against mass things. I think that this will work well against hog riders. Um, I'm not sure, but there is a wall of wizards for any time anybody attacks from the bottom of the base. So uh, that is going to be great. And as you can see, there are these giant bombs right next to them. So as they're dealing out damage, um, hogs will jump in, get that splash damage from the bomb and the splash damage from the wizard. So um, I think that's going to work really well. We're going to see. Obviously, we're going to find out. Um, but I'm definitely excited to see that. Next, we're going to bring in our mortars. Um, splash damage is so important when it comes to uh, defense. It is by far the most important defense, in my opinion, um, and I think in a lot of other people's opinions. So we're going to triangulate those so that they cover almost all the base. They do not reach the top of the base, um, but they do cover uh, a large portion of it as well. I, you know, I might go ahead and just... Uh, I might put that mortar right in there uh, just so that it covers a little bit more of the core of the base. And I'm going to put this dark elixir right here. As you can see, these walls are down here. Uh, that makes the dark elixir out of range of any archers. They're going to have to go through those walls. Um, so I'm going to put that there for now. We might see if that changes up in the future. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Obviously, that is interchangeable. Uh, we're going to bring in two of our elixir storages. Uh, elixir is the most important when you are pushing because you need it to train troops. So that is why I have both of those right there um, in the second layer of, of the base layout. Uh, we're going to bring in those air defenses as well as these air defenses right here. Um, and you know what guys, a lot of times people are like, don't put mortars and air defenses next to each other. People can just use four lightning spells and destroy it. Yes, that's true, but that probably only happens to me 5% of the time. So I'm not going to design my base around something that doesn't happen to me. Um, I, I, would, I would hope that that, could, that, that would make sense um, to you guys. You, you have to focus on what you think happens most. And if mass dragons are coming to attack my base anyways, uh, mortars aren't going to matter. And uh, they're going to lightning spell the air defenses anyway. So 
that's how you kind of have to look at it. Um, next, I'm going to bring in my Expos into the center compartment uh, so that they can cover almost all of the base. And yes, they are set to air and ground because that is very, very important. Then we're also going to put our clan castle in here. Now, as you can see, the clan castle um, is not going to be baited very easily. People are going to have to attack this gold mine with more than archers. Uh, if they just attack it with archers, my clan castle is not going to go out because you can see they are completely out of range. Um, and they do cover a majority of, of the base, so that is awesome. Next, we are going to bring out our Teslas, guys. Um, and I'm building, once again, another wall up here with the Teslas. So, um, and there's a giant bomb right there as well. So when the Hog Riders come in from the point, since this cannon's up here, depending on where they attack, they're going to go for that cannon, and then their next step is going to be right over this wall into that giant bomb. Um, so, yeah, that's my thought process behind that. Um, let's go ahead and bring out our archer towers as well. They're going to be there protecting, um, just protecting. <laughs> They're going to be there protecting as well. Let's bring our gold storages into here. Um, and then we are going to grab our cannon right here. And is this where this goes? No, that's not where that goes. Remove. Elixir goes right here. Um, and then, come on. Come on, there you go. And then we are going to bring in this cannon as well and this elixir as well, elixir uh, storage. And now it is time to work on this bottom portion of the base. We are going to bring in archer tower and archer tower and then cannon and cannon. And down here at the bottom, guys, this is also going to work well with hogs. As you can see, one, two, three, four traps right there. That is... 12 hog riders most of the time people attack with about 30 of them so that's almost half of them that are going to go away when they hit that um i haven't been attacked with giant healer that much lately um so i'm not too worried about that the biggest thing i'm worried about is hog riders and um, i'm really focusing on that with this base so once the hogs are done working with this and they move in here to the air defenses uh, which aren't going to attack them anyways i am going to have the wizards be able to continue to shoot at them. So that is going to be very, very important. Uh, next, we're going to bring in our uh, gold storages, and then we are going to bring in our last set of archers to help cover. And that is going to be it, guys. So we are going to save this village. And as you can see, um, I think that it's laid out really, really well. Why don't we go back into, um, what does it look like in edit mode? What does that get? All right, so that just gets rid of some of the stuff on the screen. So why don't we just go back into it, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Um, so you can see those traps right there. Those are very well placed, in my opinion. And then we have our um, seeking air mines right along uh, side of these air defenses. So if people lightning spell the air defense, they think they're good to go. Eh, they're not, because these bombs are by the air defenses. So when people think they get rid of a... Uh, air defense they in fact have forgotten the air bombs and then I also have these seeking air mines up here in the center as well um, next we have a giant bomb right here to help with hog riders and then we have two of these bombs right here since I don't have another giant bomb to help protect those I really want to keep this giant bomb right here because I feel like when people attack with hogs from the top Either no matter where it's from, they're going to go from this cannon, and half of them are probably going to go right here, and then the other half are going to go after those um, archer towers. And at any rate, even if they go from here and then jump over towards this, they're going to set it off, and it is going to cause damage. So that is why uh, those bombs are there. And otherwise, guys, I've laid out everything pretty close to the base so that ev all my buildings are covered um, very well so that I do my best not to give away free uh, percentages. So we're going to see how this base turns out, guys. And like I said, as always, all bases um, are trial and error. You can't make a perfect base the first time. And also you have to realize that you may focus on certain types of um, base designs uh, for certain kinds of attacks that you're dealing with. So I think this is going to work really well for a lot of different things. It would work well for Giant Healer uh, with the traps. It'll work well with Hog Riders. And I also think that it'll work pretty well with um, 
anybody just attacking with tier one troops because I do have a lot of defenses close to the edge. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed this base build. Um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. It looks pretty good, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like if you do. Uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe. I promise you, I will not let you down. Uh, I post videos very, very frequently. Honestly, I think I post the most um, of any Class of Clan person on uh, YouTube. I try and post at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. So, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't, guys. Comment down below with what you think about it. And I will see you guys later, right? Take care, guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash around for me, right? I'll see you guys later.